This is Eugene Panrikovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Compaq Presario CQ57 laptop computer with a cracked screen, and we're going to show you how to replace a cracked screen on a Compaq Presario CQ57 notebook computer. Okay, before we do anything with this or any other laptop computer, we want to make it safe to work on, so we remove the battery. We flip the laptop over. There's one lever to slide. We slide the lever to the right. The battery flips up, and we take the battery out. And also, please make sure the power cord is not connected to the laptop when working on it. Okay, before we get started, we're going to show you the tools we're going to use to do the job today. Uh, we have some electronics screwdrivers. Uh, first one is a PH1 screwdriver. PH stands for Phillips, and 1 stands for the screwdriver size. Then we have a smaller PH00 screwdriver. That's to get to the smaller screws. And then we have a flathead screwdriver to do some various jobs and also to get at Phillips screws at an angle. We also have an X-Acto knife or a hobby knife with a pointed blade to remove the screw covers and a pair of metal tweezers to remove any screws that may be stuck. Okay, with this laptop, just like with most laptops, you have to remove the screen bezel, the plastic frame around the screen to get to the screen assembly. In order to remove the screen bezel, you have to remove two screws that are securing the screen bezel and for this one it's a little bit tricky because the screw covers are shaped side they're shaped they're not circular so they're kind of hard to find but they're down here and down here so let's get started and we're going to use our hobby knife or jack knife to lift up the screw covers like so and what i like to do with those is attach them right next to where they go so I don't lose them. Okay, that's one. And we're going to do the next one the exact same way. So when you first look at the laptop, you can't really tell that the screw covers are there. So they're kind of disguising them better these days. So we lift up the screw cover once again, attach it so we don't lose it. And then we use our PH1 screwdriver to get up the screws. So you have to tilt the laptop all the way back, and then you start removing the screw. You have to do it at an angle, but the angle is not too steep, so it shouldn't be too hard. So one screw, and two. Now for each set of screws, I keep them in a separate pile and I keep the piles in the order in which they were removed and when putting the laptop back together this help me keep, helps me keep track of which screws go where. Okay, well now that the two screws are removed we can start removing the screen bezel and the screen bezel snaps off and what I like to do for this is put my fingertips on the screen size side and gently start lifting up the screen bezel and start listening for the snapping sounds. And we go all the way around the laptop. I'm doing this like so. And go on the bottom. Once we get to the bottom, I'll show you a trick that you're going to need to do when you're putting the laptop back together. Okay. So this bezel is off, but when you're putting the bezel back on, when your new screen is, you have to snap it back on. And this bezel does snap on very well at the bottom. So I have a trick. Once you're snapping the bezel back on, you take the flathead screwdriver and go in the back of the laptop and kind of, with the flat, flathead screwdriver, kind of work the bezel back in like this, and it'll snap back on. So. This will help you put the bezel back on when you're done. Okay, next let's keep moving. So the bezel just comes off fairly easily. And we put this to the side. Now this laptop also 
has a, an, is unusual in the way that the hinge covers are mounted. And uh, you need to get, you need to remove the hinge cover so you can move the, tilt the screen assembly up a little bit so you can get to the screws on the side. I'll show you what I'm talking about later, but first let's remove the hinge covers. For each hinge cover, there's a screw that's securing it to the screen assembly. So we remove these screws, one, and two. And we use our flathead screwdriver to kind of work the hinge covers out. So I put it on the side like this, right on the side, and kind of snap it off, and it comes off. So that's one. And the other trick is you kind of have to work the hinge covers back in when you're putting them back in. So take your time on this. Just kind of spread it out and put it back in. So this that part is a little bit tricky. So Take your time on it and it'll come. It's doable. Okay, second hinge cover. We snap it back, snap it off again. Okay, you hear a snapping sound, that means it snapped off. And then we use our screwdriver to remove it. Okay, now the hinge covers are removed. The reason we wanted to remove the hinge covers is we need to get to this screw here and this screw here, which is obscured by the hinge cover, in order to loosen them to tilt the screen assembly forward. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's take the two screws at the top for the metal mounting brackets out so we can start to tilt the screen forward a little bit one and two okay so once we take these screws out at the top you can see that the screen is tilting forward a little bit from the screen assembly and we need to do that to get to the screws that the screen is mounted to on the metal mounting brackets so here comes the next trick the next trick is to loosen the hinge screws down here and there's two on each side and this is the one that was obscured before that's why we took the hinge covers off one and two now once we loosen them we can see that the screen is tilted a little bit further from the screen assembly and our goal is to get to this screw down here so we, it's not tilted far enough to get there yet so we loosen up these screws a little bit more. One, two, one, and two. Okay, and these are the smaller screws, so we switch to the PH00 screwdriver. And if we work our way into there, we can get to this bottom screw down here. So. Like so. Okay, and I think I'm going to loosen these screws up a little bit more so I have better access. And it's out. Okay, and we start a separate pile for these screws. There's three screws on each side. And when you start on these screws, make sure you use a little bit of force at first so as not to strip the screws because that's a pain if you strip the screws. So when you start on them, you use a little bit more force. When you get started, then you can let up on the force after that. Okay, and also make sure that the screen assembly is tilted back when you're doing this step. The reason being is you don't want the whole screen falling forward on you once you remove the whole all the screws. Okay, what I'm doing now is loosening in, loosening up the hinge screws a little bit more, so I can get to this tricky bottom screw. This is the hardest one of the whole affair. Okay, loosen up a little bit more. And we're going to use our tweezers to remove 
this screw. So we're using, for this particular laptop, we're using every tool in our toolkit, except that this one is a little bit more stubborn than I like it to be. So I'm going to loosen up the hinge screws just a little bit more. You don't want to loosen them up too much because then the back lid falls off. Okay, and I got this screw out. So we keep moving. So second screw. And the third screw, like so. So when you remove the third screw, the screen is going to be loose, so kind of hold the screen with your fingers so it doesn't fall. And then we slowly tilt the screen forward, make sure it's not getting stuck on anything, and we put it down. Okay, so we have access to the back of the screen now. And there's some adhesive tape. Let's cover the connector. We need to remove this connector. So we lift up this adhesive tape, like so. And we, there's also some adhesive on the back of the video cable. So we lift that up. We need to do that before we can remove the connector. Okay, we lift up the adhesive tape and the adhesive on the back of the video cable. And then we slide the connector out, and the screen is free. Okay, before we go any further, I'm going to show you how to reconnect this connector, because people oftentimes have trouble with this. When you slide the connector, you should feel two clicks. That means it's in place. And this is what the connection should look like, if we can get a good focus. There we go. There should be no gap in the seam between the two sides of the connection. The connection should be flush, and that's when you know when you have a good connection. So pause the video right here and make sure your connection looks exactly like this. Okay, so let's keep moving. We take the connector out, and we take a look at the screen. This is a 15.6 inch LED screen. As of early 2012, this is the most common screen for laptops that's out there, so you should not have trouble finding it. Let's look at the part number. The part number that you're looking for is LP156WH4. LP156WH4. Now, if you want, you can order this screen from us, from Screen Surgeons. And what you get with us is free email technical support when you do the installation. We also offer a two-year warranty on our screens, and we have a compatibility guarantee. If we ship you the wrong screen, we'll take that one back and we'll ship you the rights for it. Also, if you're not in the United States, uh, we can most likely ship the laptop screen to your country. We ship all over the world, and you just use the normal checkout procedure with the shopping cart. So to buy the screen from us, go to www.screensurgeons.com, click buy a screen, and then there will be a short form for you to fill out. We just need your email address and the laptop model number, and then we can uh, give you a link to buy the right screen online. Okay, uh, once you do have your screen, you connect it as I showed you, put the screws in, on the side mount the screen again. Now if you're having trouble with the bottom screws, it's okay just to put the top two screws in. The screen will be secure enough and you can go on. And then put the screws here that's they're securing the brackets to the back of the screen assembly. Very important. Uh, do not forget to tighten these screws at the bottom. Then work the hinge covers back in. Put the screws in on the hinge covers. Snap in the screen bezel, and if you're having trouble snapping it on the bottom, do the trick I showed you at the bottom where you use a flathead screwdriver and kind of work it in, and that should work. And uh, then just put the two screws in at the bottom and the screw covers, and you should be done.
Okay, uh, that's it. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you very much, and good luck.